Hey there, it's great to have you back on my YouTube channel. I am a licensed realtor with almost 10 years experience and I have additional experience in property management, leasing, and flipping properties. I am the owner and broker of Nolan North Shore Real Estate. My name is Alex Lacey. Now let's get into this. So whether you're a first time home buyer or you're interested in investment property in 2023, but you're not sure whether you wanna move forward, watch to the end of this video. We will discuss what experts are saying while predicting whether prices will fall or not in 2023 and what that means for you. So do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe, and let's go on. And I'm more leaning to this side now, now that I've been watching the market for the first couple of months. Let's start by looking at what real estate experts Experts are saying in February we saw a surge in the market where we saw some prices starting to, to fall at the end of 2022 beginning of 2023 it's starting to raise again we may have already hit the bottom of the market so if you're ready to jump in now may be the time I can't predict the market with certainty I tend to research as much as I can so Based on my market and the rest of the country, one reason I don't think that we will see continued price drops is the low inventory on the market. It's not only where I live, but it's being reported across the country, especially within realtor associations and groups. Although we saw some home prices drop, like I said, at the end of 2022 and 2023, I just don't see this trend continuing with the amount of homes that are on the market. Another reason why prices may not drop any further is the continued demand in low inventory. Another thing that we are seeing in the market right now is we're just not seeing the craziness that we saw in the last two years in real estate. We're seeing a more balanced market. What is a balanced market? Homes aren't selling in the first few hours or let's say maximum a day or two, but I tell you there was home selling very quickly. All cash deals, above cash deals, above appraisal prices, no seller concessions. We're just not seeing that craziness anymore. We're seeing buyers being able to take the time, make a an educated decision, look at more homes, and then decide and negotiate with the seller on what they need. So especially one of the best seller concessions that we're seeing come back onto the market that we, we saw before, you know, especially before 2020 was a con contribution to closing costs. So that allows buyers to move into properties with more money in their pockets rather than less um, because they're not making those same concessions to be able to get into the house because there's so many offers. And we're also seeing that buyers aren't having to pay, above, like I said, above appraisal prices or come out so you know so much money i mean yes they had lower interest rates but they were paying so much more out of pocket just to get into the house with that balanced market it's making it easier and we're seeing those prices stay a little bit more steady instead of climbing up tens of thousands of dollars a week or in some markets hundreds of thousands finally i've been getting a lot of questions about foreclosures and i wanted to make sure to bring this up you know, where's the foreclosures on the market? When are we going to start seeing more foreclosures? I just don't see that happening at this time. If you look at this chart, you can see a little bit more information on that. When I was first getting into the market, foreclosures were still a thing and it was causing a, a higher inventory than what you know, we just had with property owners selling. You just don't have that influx in the foreclosure market that's bringing down the demand or evening out demand. I just don't see that becoming a thing to even out the market and I've just I wanted to throw that in there because I've been asked so many times about when are these coming onto the market I even watch share of sales locally and our share of sales are down with foreclosures let's um, also now talk about while why experts are seeing or predicting price drops now the biggest thing is the economy like will we see price drops one the rates were raised too quickly is one of one of the arguments that experts will make we're seeing rates even out a little bit but if rates continue to rise yes that may cause price drops because demand is down now how does that affect you as a homeowner if interest rates increase 
you may see a price drop, but depending on what that interest rate increases, the home may now be out of your purchasing power. So just keep that in mind. I'll touch on that a little bit later. Another reason why we may see price drops is recession. Some will argue we're already in it, but we see inflation continue to rise. Well, we see layoffs. All of those things can affect people's buying power. So if we see that, we may see a drop in demand. We still have low inventory, but if we have a drop in demand, that may also continue to drop prices, especially for those that have to sell for whatever reason. Will there be a recession in 2023 and how long will it last? Experts are still debating these questions. I don't know how much it will affect the real estate market as it did with the housing crash in 2008, where we had a lot of unregulated mortgages. We had interest rates that were not set. So your interest rate raised with the market and we saw a lot of people's rates go up while they were a homeowner and then their monthly mortgage became unsustainable. We don't have those same type of mortgages out in the market as we did before. So just don't see it affecting our housing market long-term in that way. But up, there are definitely some uncertainties in the market. And I believe that buying a home in 2023 may still be the smartest investment, whether you're a first-time home buyer or an investor, especially more towards the first-time home buyers or home buyers in general. Of course, it's important to do your own research. Talk to as many people as you can. If you are not in my market and you're looking for a real estate expert in your area, you can message me or DM me or comment and I can get in touch with you and get somebody that I trust in your area. The waiting on the sidelines just may not be the best option. You should definitely speak to a lender and learn more about what you need. So let me know what you think about this video because I'm still brand new at this, so I'm trying to convey as much information as I can. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more types of these videos, just leave a comment below. Thanks, have a great day.